Okay, welcome to Space Invaders tutorial part seven. Uh, let's take a look at what we got so far. Um, kind of, kind of getting the uh, outline of a game going here, so we can go ahead and destroy things. Now, one thing I want you to observe is that the Space Invaders only drop down if they touch. But in the original game, if you recall, when it touches the side, all of the invaders will move down. So that's why that gives you the incentive to you know, destroy the ones on the edge first. So let's uh, go ahead and see if we can get that to work. Okay. So I think the first thing we need to do is to go down through our code and figure out where does the invader actually move down. And that's uh, with the player left and right, player, uh, enemy. Okay, so you see here, move the enemy back and down. Okay, so enemy x core is greater than 280. So if the x-coordinate is greater than 280, we're going to move that enemy down. But I think what we want to do in this case is we want to move all of the enemies down. Okay, so what we're going to do is we, again, if we're going to do all of the enemies, we need to have a loop inside of the loop. This is what's called a nested loop. Okay, so, so I can't do for enemy and enemies because we've already done that. So I'm going to say for e in enemies. Okay. And then for this the enemy speed, we only need to change that once because all of the enemies have the same speed. Oops. Okay, I don't need to change that a bunch of times. I just need to change that once. So on the, on the other end, it's the same thing. So for E in enemies, we're going to change the Y coordinate of all of the enemies if one of them touches the side. And then we need to change the direction. But again, we don't put that inside this loop. This only happens once because all of the enemies have the same direction. So let's run that, save it, and then run it. Okay, so as soon as this one hits the, the wall, they should all reverse. Oops, okay, something went wrong there. <laughs> let's try that again. Ah, okay, because I got enemy here. This should be E, E, oops. That was kind of funny, but you know, didn't work how we expected it. Okay, so again, this gets a little confusing because we have this main loop here where we're checking the enemy. And then what this does is moves all of the enemies down. Move, oops. Down. Change. Any direction. And move all enemies down. And change the main direction. Okay, so let's try that and see what happens. Okay, so hopefully when this hits the wall, everybody will drop down and move back. Okay, so that's that's how the original Space Vaders worked. So if you if you remember that game or if you've seen it. Okay, so everything's working. So basically, not only do we use loops to iterate through all of our our enemy, you know, our list of enemies, we can do a loop within a loop if we need to change them all for some reason. Okay, and again, so this had to be different to this because we couldn't do enemy and enemy here. Uh, that would confuse the program. Things just would not work quite how we expect them to. That's it.